Wordle players. Did you click on this video because you had some problems with Wordle and it's glitching and not loading and something's happening to it and you can't figure out what the problem is? Well, no need to worry because I've got you covered. For the people that don't already know, Wordle has taken over the globe since the beginning of 2022, but not everything goes on smoothly when users are trying to play this game. I'm here to help you with that, so stay tuned to find out how to do it. So it turns out that for those who have subscribed to the New York Times, Wordle has an issue with the cookies that the newspaper leaves on the web browser. Therefore, the solution is to get rid of all those cookies, munch munch. For example, if you're using Chrome for playing the Wordle game, this is how to remove those cookies. So for example, if you're using Chrome for playing the Wordle game, this is how to remove those cookies. You open the Chrome browser and click on the three dots which are located in the upper right corner. You navigate to settings and click on security and privacy. You then click on cookies and other site data. After that, you click on see all cookies and site data and you will see a search field tab in the upper right corner. You then type in NY Times. But what if Wordle shows a blank page on your iPhone or iPad or even on your Mac? Well, if you're using an iPhone or iPad, this is what you'll have to do. You navigate to your iPhone or iPad settings and find and tap on Safari. You scroll down to you see advanced and you just tap on that. You then click on the option website data and in the search tab, type in NY Times. When nytimes.com appears, swipe left on it and tap on delete. You then open Safari and launch the Wordle page again. If you're on the Mac, you open the Safari browser on your Mac. After you do that, you select Safari from the menu bar, which is located at the top of your screen and click on preferences. After you do that, you tap on the privacy tab and click on the manage website data option. In the search tab, type in NY Times and when it appears, select the nytimes.com option and click on remove. I hope that was helpful guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching.